watching some grind hard plumbing. Look them up on the tubes. Today, no way. Uh. Uh. Beautiful. Need to come out. Valves are out. I still need to get that bolt out. There's its brother hanging on tight. No. What are these shavings? Gotta get all that out. Ugh. I need to break this engine down. Guys, I've just learned one of the coolest tricks in the world um, from the internet. Oh, you're sideways again. You get these four bolts out. There's two of them out. You can see they're shiny because I got them out. So the way that I successfully got this out is I took the head off. I had it off. And I filled cylinder one up with rope, or actually 550 cord or paracord, if you're familiar. Um, what that did is that allowed that rope to compress when I rotated this motor over down into a nice hard pile that's going to keep the engine from rotating any farther because I took up space. But a nut or a bolt or something metal would mar the surfaces inside that engine. Rope does not. So I thought that was really genius to fill the cylinder with the rope, crank this head down on it, rotate the motor over until the piston comes up and smashes the rope and then it can't rotate any farther because you are taking up this much space and it needs to travel that far before it rotates around and goes down again and then this stays in place and you can crack these bolts loose because up front i've taken everything off and i got nothing to grab onto to hold the motor still i don't want to shove something down and ruin a piston even though we're replacing them you still don't want to do that crack a head whatever so this could crack a head if those bolts were insanely stuck and your rope is really high quality rope and your head probably already has a crack in it. Otherwise, genius. Thanks, Internet. It's Camo 550. Of course, if you're a character, you better have Camo 550 cord. And uh, yeah, that's it. Shove it down that cylinder and that pop off. So I got all these bolts out. Now I'm gonna drive a piece of wood through that with a hammer. Knock that, rotate it, knock it, rotate it till that thing falls off. And uh, that ring gear's got teeth missing. Uh, what was it? I don't know. It's got a couple teeth missing, so we're gonna order a new ring gear. I'm glad I took a look at that. We're gonna throw a new clutch on. New throw up bearing's already on. It's just dirty with grease, but it's brand new. Um, yeah, we're good. Lovely.